Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining us today. Our theme this week is body parts and decision making. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and carefully apply sanitizer to our entire hands. Make sure that when you use sanitizer, you do not waste any of it. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about phonics, computation, and subject-verb agreement. For our exercise, we are going to now turn to page 20. On page 20, we are going to be doing some phonics words. Now, as you can see, all the words, they have one thing in common. They all have A and E. And when we pronounce the words, they sound similar. We're going to read all of the words. And then after that, we're going to make three sentences using any of the words. Let's begin by reading the top line of the words. Please repeat after me. Ace, face, cave, bake, race, base, sail, made, cage, Case, safe, late, date, hate, skate, rate, gate, plate. Well done, everyone. So I want you to continue practicing reading those words. And now you're going to use three of them to make three different sentences. Take your time and please, boys and girls, when you're making these sentences, start with a capital letter and end with a full stop. Say your sentence out loud before you write it down. That way you'll be able to know whether your sentence makes sense. Spell your words correctly and use words that you already know what they mean. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Let's go to page 21. On page 21, we're going to be doing computation. We're going to start with addition. The one we are going to do together says 240 plus 453. Let's take a look at the board. Now, as always, boys and girls, we start from our units. So we're going to say zero plus three and zero plus three equals, that's correct, three. 
So we will put our three in line. Very good. Now we say four plus five. And four plus five, my dear friends, if you're using your fingers or your counters, will add up to nine. Good job. Lastly, we say two plus four. So if we have two and then we add four, our answer will be six. Now we know that 240 plus 453 will equal 693. When you're done with your addition, I want you now to go to the bottom of your exercise to do computation, but this time it is subtraction. Let's take a look. The subtraction that we're going to do is simple. So I have one right here for you. This one says 160, 176 <laughs> minus 130. 76, teacher. So we're going to start by the unit side as always. We're going to say six minus zero. Now we have six things and we are taking away zero. Our answer will be six. And then we have seven minus three. So seven minus three will give us four. Then the last one that we have is one minus one. Now, if I have one thing and I take it away, my answer is zero. But because this number is at the end of our number, we do not put anything. So anytime our answer is zero for the hundreds, we do not add any zero. We leave it like that. So now our total says 176 minus 176. 30 will give us 46. So take your time both with the addition and the subtraction. And when you're done, you can check that your answers are correct. I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Now boys and girls, we are going to do another exercise on page 22. On page 22, we are dealing with subject verb agreement. Now, subject verb agreement is when the subject, in this case a noun, and a verb need to agree in number. I'm going to explain what this means. Let's take a look at the board. Now, if we take a look at the board, I said that the subject is usually a noun. It can be a singular noun, and remember singular means one, or a plural noun. It can be two or more. When we have a singular noun, the verb needs to have an S. Whatever verb it is, needs to have an S at the end to agree with the singular noun. For example, Ben is our subject singular noun because he's only one person. So, in order to agree with the word Ben, the word play needs to have an S. So we say, Ben plays soccer. Now, if we have a plural noun, which means two or more, they need to also agree with the verb. So our plural noun, the people. P 
People means more than one person. So if we're going to have the word people, that means our verb will not have an S. So this one will have without a S. The sentence will say, the people play soccer. So remember boys and girls, the subject and the verb need to agree. If the verb, if the subject is a singular noun, meaning only one, then that means our verb will have an S. But if it is a plural noun, which means two or many, that means our verb will not have an S. So now that I've explained this to you, let's try and do number one and number two together. Number one says, cows dash in the meadow. It's going to be our job to look at each picture and choose the correct form of verb that matches the subject. So we have our options. It's either we use graze or grazes. Now our subject there, or rather our verb there, is our, not our subject, our verb there is graze or grazes. We have to first look at the subject, which is the noun. The noun we have been given is the word cows. Now cows, is it one or two or more? Well, from the picture, you can see more than one cow. So we know that this is a plural. So our subject is plural. When our subject is plural, that means our verb will not have an S. So in this case, the word we are going to choose is the word graze. Now our sentence will be complete. Cows graze in the meadow. Let's now take a look at number two. Number two, we have the sentence, Janet dash her school bag. Now we can see Janet and it looks like she's only one. And Janet is a singular noun. So we know that because our subject is a singular noun, that means our verb needs to have an S at the end. So, we're going to be choosing between the word pack and packs. In this case, the correct answer is packs. Now, we are able to say our sentence. Janet packs her school bag. Remember, boys and girls, the verb always comes after the subject. That way, it will be easy for you to identify the subject. So take your time, remember the rule about the verb subject or the subject verb agreement. That every time we have a singular noun, we have to use an S. And then when we have a plural noun, we have to remove or not have an S. Have fun with the exercise, take your time, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or something is very hard, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself and remember to practice, practice, practice. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. Sanitizing doesn't mean that you are going to be 100% safe. So you also need to practice good social distancing and as well as using soap and water. Don't forget to wear a mask when you are out in public. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sasha and I were going to go and visit a friend of ours because he was going to show us how to brush our teeth nicely. Sashi, are you ready? Wonderful, Sashi. 
So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.